Hello and thank you for your interest in NTU School of Biological Sciences. My name is Marek Mutfil and I'm an assistant chair for students. Today, I'll be sharing with you the unique aspects of our school and programs and initiatives that we offer. Later on in the video, we'll speak to two of our own students to find out more about their experiences and time at SBS. Some of you may ask, why study biology? Well, biology is a study of all living things and it is key to help us become more sustainable, to fight climate change and to live, uh, lead long and healthy lives. Biology is a quest for understanding where you use quantitative and analytical reasoning, modeling and problem solving to understand the inner workings of living things. Studying biology uh, will also allow you to acquire basic transferable skills that are useful in many different professions, not just science. Okay, but why biology at SBS? Well, we help you uh, to ground your fundamentals with a fixed core while giving you the flexibility and freedom to pick electives of your interest. Our internships, exchange and alumni sharing will help you prepare for the job market by exposing you to valuable experiences and strengthening you, your network. We also recognize the importance of data science to prepare you for the future. Let me tell you more about this. Our main program is a four-year direct honors degree in biological sciences. We also have a number of second and double major programs that allow you to focus specifically on the topics that you're really interested in. The main differences between the second and double major is the number of academic units or AUs that you have to clear. The second major uh, only takes uh, up about 30% of the total AUs, while the double major programs have equal weightages of both majors. So zooming in on the second majors, we have one in medicinal chemistry and pharmacology, allowing you to take a number of chemistry courses in the School of Chemistry, Chemical Engineering and Biotechnology. This trains you in a wide variety of areas that are related to medicinal chemistry and pharmacology and prepares you for careers in research and development in a variety of sectors associated with things like drug and vaccine development and more. Next is our second major in biomedicinal structural biology that focuses on the structural basis of things like drug discovery and design, vaccine design and protein engineering. This too prepares you for careers in research and development, in biomedical startups, pharmaceutical companies, and so forth. So another second major we have is in food science and technology, which is an interdisciplinary program training you in food science, processing, and engineering, thus allowing you to pursue jobs in food-related industries. So to do this, we partner with the Wageningen University in Netherlands that is very well known for their food sciences program. So last year, we introduced the second major in data analytics. This will give you a foundation in mathematics, statistics and algorithms, as well as data mining, visualization and management. This will also allow the students to pick electives across different schools in the College of Science and College of Engineering here at NTU. This new program will enable you to analyze big data in biology to gain a systems understanding of biology. So, we also have a double majors uh, programs. As I mentioned before, the double major programs have equal weightages and they cover two different disciplines, one related to biological sciences, while the other to a non-science discipline. For example, uh, psychology is uh, from the humanities discipline, uh, while biobusiness is from the business discipline. All programs require you to complete an internship in the third year, while final year project uh, is in the fourth year as an option. However, for double major programs, the final year project is compulsory. In these two programs, we are not only looking at your academic achievements, but also at your attitude, relevant experiences and passion for, the, for these uh, subjects. But since the majors are of the same weightage, we'll make sure that you are able to cope with the workload too. You will need to go through interviews for us to assess whether you are the right material for the program. For these two double major programs, you have the option to take on the NTU Duke NUS medicine pathway, suitable for students who are aspiring to be clinicians, with additional opportunities in biobusiness or psychology. The biological sciences and psychology double major 
in partnership with NTU School of Humanities Division of Psychology studies brain from two tracks, neurology and psychology. As for the biobusiness major, it is different from the regular uh, business studies, although the general uh, business uh, principles apply. Biobusiness is more specific to the healthcare industry as it covers topics such as bioentrepreneurship and regulation, whereas business is a minor, uh, as a minor covers topics such as accounting and marketing. For this, we work with the Copenhagen Business School in Denmark, where we spent year uh, four, semester one. This is not an exchange, but actually part of the curriculum. Lastly, double degree in biomedical sciences and Chinese medicine is a five-year program in collaboration between NTU and the Beijing University of Chinese Medicine, one of the top universities in China. Undergraduates of this program combine modernized Chinese medicine with biomedical sciences and also study their research and development in the field of healthcare and life sciences. This year, we are introducing two new second majors to our programs. The second major in entrepreneurship aims to equip you with a fundamental entrepreneurship competency and broaden your understanding in enterprise and innovation. Hands-on experience in tech entrepreneurship through an experimental learning approach and a 20-week overseas or local internship are some exciting components of the program. The second major in sustainability will in incorporate uh, relevant courses across all four colleges to provide students with the foundation in, uh, and practical tools for understanding the concepts of sustainability and applying them to real world scenarios. The curriculum will be structured according to the three traditional pillars, society, environment and economy. By understanding how our environment, economy and society interact, applying this to the technological innovation and communicating readily with decision makers, we can maintain the health of our world for the benefit of current and future generations. So we also know how important data science is. So on top of the second major in data analytics programs, our biological science curriculum is designed with digital, computational and statistical literacy in mind. You will gain invaluable knowledge and skills in programming, allowing you to pursue topics in machine learning or AI. This will hone your analytical skills, allowing you to work with big data, which is becoming important in many aspects of biology and many other disciplines. Thus, you'll pick up many core skills such as scientific knowledge, lab and research skills, but also communication and business. So SBS uses a unique outcomes-based teaching and learning approach, uh, which is called OBTL. So OBTL is a way of teaching where we clearly identify what we would like you to learn from the start and we frame everything else about the courses in the curriculum to meet those goals. We communicate with you very clearly about the course goals and requirements and we provide constant feedback to help you achieve your aims. In addition to OBTL, we also frequently use cutting edge approaches to teaching, which involves things like flipped classroom, smart classrooms and blended learning. During vacation breaks, we hold one week intensive small class workshops known as the Undergraduate Advanced Experimental Biology or UAEB programs that are exclusive to the students from SBS. This initiative gives you an exciting taste of hands-on research and it is a unique opportunity to advance your skill sets in scientific areas of biology. Next up, we'll have a chat with two of our very own undergraduate students to find out for, uh, more from them about how it is to be a student at SBS. All right, let's go. All right, Bronson, yeah, good to see you guys. Yeah, what's up, bro? Hello, bro. Hey, guys. So could you tell our uh, viewers a bit more about yourself? Maybe, Nyok, you start. Hello, I'm Nyok Yong. I'm a year three biomedical science and TCM undergraduate here at SBS. Um, the past three years for me have been very packed, very fulfilling, and it's been very interesting to meet all these um, new friends, new people, and do it to study together. What about you, Bronson? Well, hi everyone, I'm Bronson. I'm a year three biological science student. I'm taking a single major in uh, biological sciences, and in the past three years, I have made uh, many close friends throughout my time in NTU, both in the classes in the School of Biological Sciences, as well as my electives in other schools with other faculty members as well. 
All right, so you can see that uh, both of them have been with us uh, for a while, so they know uh, SBS uh, quite well. So guys, maybe you could tell us more about the internships that you have experienced uh, during time at SBS. Maybe Bronson, you start. Yeah, I'm more than happy to share about my internship. I just finished my professional internship at National University Polyclinic. Mm -hmm. Now, the professional internship is part of the degree program at the School of Biological Sciences, where we all have to undertake an internship for about a couple of months at a, either a lab setting or an administration setting in a health, in a science field. Uh, throughout this experience, uh, I gained a lot of experience, you know, working with colleagues in the workforce, uh, learning about the field I'm interested in. So for myself, I'm interested in healthcare, and that was why I chose an internship with the National University Polyclinics. Mm -hmm. I got to learn a lot more about the healthcare field, about how everyone plays a part in the healthcare system, mm -hmm. which is what I find really great about having to do this internship uh, during my undergraduate studies. And in fact, healthcare is one of the top fields that uh, graduates of SBS go to for their career, followed by research and development, uh, public administration, and defense. Mm -hmm. Cool. And Yuck, what about you? Okay, uh, for TCM, our uh, internship is actually a little different. It is for us within our curriculum. So we, from year two, SEM two onwards, we actually have it planned for us. We do not actually need to go for professional internship as per se until later on in our studies. So for now, I've been attached to our NTU TCM clinic, which is our very own clinic here in SBS. And we follow the physicians there, some of which are actually graduates from our course. Mm -hmm. That sounds excellent. And I guess uh, later on you go to Beijing in yes. fifth year? In my fourth and fifth year, we'll be going to Beijing University of Chinese Medicine. And this is where we will be attached to for two years, for one year of study, second year of attachment to um, the university and the hospital. Okay. And you're looking forward to this? Very much so. Yeah. I'm hoping that I can go there after the COVID restrictions are uh, eased a little bit more. I see. I see. And you're a Mandarin. Is it up to speed? I sure hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so could you guys uh, tell us uh, a bit more uh, about uh, some of the, the minors that can be pursued at SBS? I mean, what, what, what are you guys doing in this direction? Okay, for minors, there's actually quite a few. It's actually not restricted. Most of our minors, um, a lot of people go into like business because it's a very general mm -hmm. um, minor that we can take. So for myself, I'm actually taking a minor in entrepreneurship, mm -hmm. which is basically um, where we learn how to like come up with a product, how we evaluate the market for it, and how are we going to sell it. So this is actually very interesting because it's very different from my course, mm -hmm. um, being like kind of more business ends, so compared to what I'm studying in science in here in SBS. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Bronson, do you have anything to, to add in this? Uh, no, for me, I'm not taking a minor myself because I wanted to take a more varied field with the electives that I have in oh. NTU. Mm -hmm. But for incoming freshmen, uh, there is a lot of options to take their electives in. And uh, like Nyo has mentioned, there's a lot of different minors to choose from and you just have to fulfill the academic unit requirements with their electives to obtain the minor. Okay, thanks for clarifying. So, so we have something called uh, TOP planning or uh, something called transitional orientation program. So this is something every uh, undergrad has to go through to get them kind of on, uh, on board uh, with being a student at SBS. Could you tell us more about this? Okay, so like Prof mentioned, um, Transitional Orientation Program is actually open to all incoming freshies. Um, so our first years or any direct year twos, they actually sign up. So it will be a four-day event where seniors have come together to plan four days of event, fun and bonding for our new incoming freshmen. Yeah, so I think, I think uh, uh, being a student at SBS is very enriching, not just from the academic perspective, but I think also you uh, get to meet many um, people who maybe become your friends, lifelong friends. And I think uh, we have many initiatives to mediate this. So for example, we have uh, student clubs and uh, we have also uh, clades. Could you tell us uh, more about this? Yeah, so for both of us, Nyok and I, we were both in the biological science club that is the student club that uh, governs the student body of the SBS uh, for three years now. In fact, <laughs> we have been uh, in the club for three years. Uh, so the student, the Biological Sciences Club oversees the student body of uh, SBS where we organize uh, uh, events for people to make new friends, uh, get fun memories that they'll treasure for the rest of their lives. Uh, we also have a uh, lots of subclubs under us that organize various activities like a biohackathon that manages coding activities, 
We have the Youth Expedition Program that organizes overseas uh, community service projects. Uh, and of course, also the Transitional Orientation Program that uh, organizes the orientation program for our freshmen that enter the school. In fact, Nyok here is a Vice President for the Transitional Orientation Program this uh, upcoming AY. Oh, cool. So do you guys have anything planned um, special this year? Um, we'll keep it secret, so you have to find out <laughs> after you join. <laughs> All right, sounds exciting. Um, uh, we have uh, also something called uh, clades, which is basically uh, kind of like like a like a house or like um, how to how to put it like 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 an organization, a student organization, right? So, I mean, if you have seen Harry Potter, it's kind of like house Gryffindor, house Slytherin kind of uh, kind of thing. So, you can see our um, clade flags uh, behind me. So, I'm a proud clade uh, father of the uh, Andromeda. So guys, could you tell us more a bit about uh, your clades? I'm from Orion. So um, clades for us basically means all our students are actually grouped into like smaller groups to help us um, better foster this like sense of belonging and like friendships. So for us, um, there are actually like small activities that they plan like um, clade parenting sessions where like Andromeda will get to meet with Prof Mare, mm. spend some time together and get to know each other beyond like a student-faculty kind of relationship. Well, for me, myself, I'm under the Hydra clade. And what I think is really great about the clade system is that there's a much smaller group of people in this uh, clade versus like having the whole of uh, SBS together. So that really gives a lot of opportunity for you to get to know new people, you know, in a more, uh, in a more close and more intimate setting, really. Yeah, and actually right now we're sitting in a, in a clade room and um, I think, you know, it's starting to look very nice and, and very homely. Um, right, so guys, of course, you know, there are the courses you have to uh, take, you know, to get your academic uh, units, but I think there are also some um, other exciting um, opportunities, for example, the exchange program, right? So, so can you tell, you, tell me guys, can you tell me more about uh, your experiences with this, with exchange? Yeah, sure. So in fact, uh, this semester I'm going for an exchange to Netherlands. Mm. Uh, I'll be taking a couple of credits uh, in a university there. Uh, I think that that's a really great experience as an undergrad, you know, to not just study in uh, NTU, SBS, but to mm. also experience the different uh, schooling systems overseas, you know, to get to go to, a, in a sense, uncharted waters for myself uh, with a bunch of uh, new people that I never met I'm going to be rooming with for the next six months. You know, uh, I think it's a really exciting time, a really good opportunity to see lots of new things and get a lot of treasure memories back for myself. Yeah, I think definitely it's, it's a good idea to uh, go out uh, at least for a while to maybe you know, experience the world and also appreciate how, how well Singapore is actually working. <laughs> um, I guess, Nyok, I mean, for you, it's clear you go to Beijing in the year four and five. Do you, do, do you have anything else um, exchange-wise happening? Um, for um, TCM specifically, our timetable is quite packed. So we actually do not have as many electives as the single majors. So for us, we actually only have um, the two years in China. It very rarely do TCM students actually go on exchange. Mm -hmm. I see. Okay. Great, guys. Thanks for, uh, for sharing. Is there anything else you think uh, our uh, potential freshmen should know about uh, studying at SBS? Well, I think, uh, I think that we all can agree that we can't wait for the freshmen to come and join our SBS family. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. So uh, yeah, I think uh, I think that's it, uh, guys. Thanks a lot for uh, for watching, and uh, we hope to see you in the corridors of SBS. Bye. Bye. <laughs>